Max and Elias, you're the last team to arrive. I'm sorry to tell you this, but you have been eliminated from the race. It was a heartbreaking end I'm for so dating couple Max and Elias. The challenge of reading a TSN Sports oh cast caused the pair to fall behind on last night's circle. Amazing Race Canada Season 3 premiere. Max and Elias join us in studio. Welcome to you both. And congratulations for getting on the show. And even though you got eliminated after the first one, was it fun or was it frustrating? Honestly, we had fun doing everything and this was no different. We had such a great time. Didn't really show no. much of that. That was, you know, <laughs> but we, we did. We had so much fun and we'd do it again in a heartbeat. Was it, okay, so the, one of the challenges was reading the auto cue, reading mm -hmm. the teleprompter, doing, and with sports names that are ridiculously crazy. Were you nervous going in? Well, no, not at all, especially in the sense that I've been to TSN and I've done the exact same thing before there, Sportsnet, and so many other different places. Yeah. Um, the only thing this time is going verbatim. Uh, I have dyslexia, and uh, just one of the ways that I've always dealt with it is kind of changing into my own mind um, certain words. Yeah. For instance, you don't notice that I said glorious goal instead of gorgeous goal 11 times, and they don't tell you what you do wrong. So I went through it saying, eh, nailed it. And then nope. <laughs> No, not the case. We've got a portion of that challenge. Tough challenge. Like, I think a lot of people would find that tough. But let's take a look. Let's do this. The last team left. We're the last ones here. Still in race mode. We can get out of here in the next two minutes. We're not that far behind. This year, the Toronto Raptors set a franchise record with a win for a win in a season. I know that Max would have been much better at this. I have dyslexia. You rearrange words in your head. Yes. Beating Russia's Ilya Sarko. Come on. Everything's flipping. No matter how hard I try, it won't work. Like, it literally won't work. So, do you, could you, I mean, you made the decision you were going yep. to do it. Then you said, oh, you think that you think that Max might have done a better job. Well, when we first got there, it said, who's feeling sporty? Okay. It's a trap. I don't know if you can tell. I'm not very <laughs> athletic. So, and he's like, me? I was like, yeah, this is not for me. We're at TSN and saying, who's feeling sporty? Like, this is for you. And the second he got in there and we realized what it was, I think we both at the same moment were like, Oh, damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, and then when we got to the water challenge, I was like, Jerks. really annoyed. Yeah, I was like, because it says, who's feeling sporty now? Yeah, right. Almost like a ha ha ha. Could have. Uh, Admiral Aqua moment. Yeah. It's a trap. Oh, really? So, when you're looking, I, mean, I know you didn't, didn't have that many um, challenges with other couples to so really kind of get to know them, but you did see some and how they were responding to some of these challenges. We were just showing a clip, one of the couples, and he's yelling at her and keep going on the water challenge. How did you feel coming out of it, just even in the training portion and the, doing it as a couple? Well, we said initially going into it, no matter what, like, if someone can't do something or if someone fails at something, like, just get over it, don't yell at each other. And to be honest, I was like, for sure it's gonna be me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, for sure this is something that, either something they're gonna be like, do a push up and I'm, that's it, we're gonna be done. So, you know, it was just sticking to that rule that we made and not getting frustrated with each other, no matter what. Because you haven't been together all that long, really. You started dating a year ago or last year? No, Five no, months. months. <laughs> that, yeah. yeah. Um, no, again, we're still at that honeymoon stage and uh, even with, uh, our lackluster performance in some ways. Uh, there's still the fireworks and there's still the honeymoon. You obviously know kind of how things turned out, but in there, in that short time after that one episode, did you kind of look around and say, well, I think that couple or this couple might win? Uh, yeah, it was just the case where we kind of went in there, you know, you, you read a book by its cover or whatever like that, you judge a book by its cover, and uh, we kind of thought which teams looked I don't know. Uh, Good. I think it's really hard. Like you go in and like you never know what the challenges are going to be and who's going to excel at what. And it's one of those things where the team that you think is going to win, you know, will mess up at something so simple. Where like I feel like he came in and people were probably like, he's pretty threatening, yeah. you know? He's yeah, a yeah. fighter. He's just going to punch his Big way guy. through and beat you up and be like, I'm going first, <laughs> right. you know? Yeah. And so you never know what's going to happen. But no regrets. No regrets, and you honestly, we came out of this just as strong, if not stronger, and for me personally, um, I've never lost to what I did in, in the cage, and I'd rather, much rather lose in a game show than in, <laughs> in what I do. Well put. Well I lose all the time. I'm fine. No, oh, I, <laughs> and I'm a winner for Look at that. Here. I lost Look again. You. Awesome. It's good to see that you're happy together after all of that, and great to have you on the show this morning. Thank Congratulations you us. once again. Pleasure. Okay, take care. You can catch The Amazing Race Canada every Wednesday night at 9 o'clock Eastern on CTV and CTV Go. Oh.